All right, let me get things set up over here. It gets slower every week, I swear. Here we go. All right. All right, good evening. This is Tara with Tara Best Stamps. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator here in Mid-Missouri. And if you're on tonight, give me a shout out. Let me know you're there watching. Okay, too much. Trying to get this so that maybe it's semi-straight. Not doing much of a good job showing you all my gross stuff over here. <laughs> Hi, this is Tara. I'm with Tara Beth Stamps. Um, today, we are going to use the Let's Go Fishing Suite. It includes the um, Gone Fishing Bundle as well as the coordinating DSP. So this is a fun fold. The reason that we're doing this fun fold is this is a great way to use up some of that DSP that you may be buying um, while it's on sale this week. So we've got just one more week. Hey Susan, thanks for joining. So we only have one more week of the DSP sale, just about all the DSP that's in the catalog as well as one of the online exclusives, exclusives is included in that DSP sale, so that's 15% off. And here is today's card, just a cute little fun fold using up that gorgeous DSP pattern paper. So this is the set that we're gonna use, Gone Fishing. This is, it's on 78 of the catalog. So it's got all of this. We're gonna use the coordinating paper. So let's get to it. All right, so what I have started, and I have a different piece of pattern paper that I'm using um, for this one. Um, just because I kind of thought we'd jazz it up a little bit. I'm going to pull... Hey, Meredith, thanks for joining. Good evening. So I'm going to pull out my Simply Score tool here. This is a piece of four and a quarter by a 12 inch sheet of DSP. And I'm going to bring in my Simply Score tool or my Take Your Pick tool. And I'm going to score this at one inch. And then I'm gonna make sure that I do this right. I'm gonna do it again at five inches. I made another one this afternoon and I did it wrong. Five and then 10 and a half. All of these uh, dimensions will be on my blog tomorrow at tarabethstamps.blogspot.com. So go in and grab that directions as well as the supply sheet. So that's all that you're gonna do with this main piece of paper. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fold it on the score line and I wanna make sure that I have this looking like it's right side up. So we do. So I'm gonna fold this at the five inch score line and I'll bring in my golden folder and we'll give it a burnish. Then I'm gonna fold that one inch back and burnish it. Now I do wanna warn you to be careful when you're burnishing this paper because it is DSP. Sometimes we're so used to working with cardstock and with Stampin' Up! having amazing cardstock, we get a little bit harsh with it and then it will tear your DSP because it is a little bit of a lighter weight. So this is your fold. So this is your card base. Super easy. I'm gonna take some Stampin' Seal and throw this on here and we're gonna adhere this one inch flat back. So there we go. This is a super, super simple card to make. All right, let's pull out some cardstock and we'll do some stamping. Okay, so I have a piece of four by five and a quarter, uh, very vanilla. And then I have a piece of boho blue that I die cut with the fourth largest deckled rectangles. Yep, the fourth largest in the deckled wrinkle rectangle set. So I've got that. And then I've got another scrap piece of very vanilla that we're gonna make some bobbers with. So I've got a piece of pecan pie that we're gonna stamp. And I'm gonna be honest, because this is a two-step stamp, I'm gonna go ahead and stamp it twice. And the reason is because I can't always get it perfect on the first try. Then I'm gonna bring in a piece of 
Poppy Parade, or my Poppy Parade ink. I'm gonna ink it up well, and then I'm gonna line this up the best I can. Oh, I got it the first time, awesome. We'll go ahead and cut another one just so I have it. Wow, two in a row. Hey Karen, thanks for joining. All right, so we'll set that out of the way and then I'm gonna bring in some Misty Moonlight. So this is one of the colors that was brought back. It's absolutely gorgeous. It was one of my all time favorite um, in color. So I was super excited to see it come back. And I'm gonna line this up. We're gonna stamp that happy retirement. Then I have my, here we go. And I've got to think here, I believe the cardstock that I cut, which I don't even see here. There's that. Well, we'll go ahead and do another one. All right, I'm gonna flip that over and ink it up. I'm gonna line this up and I'm gonna put it a little bit to the side because I'm gonna go ahead and add a strip of DSP over to the side. Just because it's the DSP sale, so we need to use up that cardstock and these are great ways to use it. So I'm gonna pull out, let's see here, that's not gonna work and I don't want it to go the opposite direction. We'll do that. Yes, Karen, Misty Moonlight is one of my faves. I was super excited when it came back. All right, I'm gonna cut this at four inches. So what I did was I just cut off just a little bit of this from the envelope that I made. I'm gonna put this back with my scraps so that I know where it's at and I've got it all organized. And all of this paper just goes so well together. It makes it easy breezy for us. I love no brainers. All right. Then we're gonna put this on the corner here. I hope your all's weather is amazing. Our weather here outside today has been beautiful. I sat outside most of the day and read a book. It was awesome. We had our first real summertime dinner today. My husband and I love um, BLTs, and it was perfect BLT weather. All right, so I've just matted this with a piece of, oh, I'm sorry, you're getting bad weather, Karen. I matted this on a piece of boho blue, and this is going to go on the inside. And we'll just go ahead and just go ahead and adhere that. That way it's there. Oh, and I kind of like the way that coordinates really well with that. So it works out well that I didn't have the fish like I thought I did. All right, so I'm going to put that over. And it's kind of hard to see where those fold lines are, but we're good. So there's our inside. Now all we have left to do is do a little bit of die cutting. Hey Karen, thanks for joining. So for my mo local Mid Missouri peeps, I have to tell you guys, if you guys are in the Hallsville area, which is just north of Columbia, we have a new produce sec stand. And yesterday I went by and I got a watermelon and it is truly the best watermelon that I've had in, I don't know, decades. It was awesome. I may or may not have ate most of it. All right, so on this die cut, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add this little crazy die from the Gone Fishing set. And the first time I saw this, I was like, what the heck is this? So upon exploring the catalog, this is a die that will cut into your cardstock and create little water ripples that are perfect for your bobbers. So see like right there, super cool. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kind of set this on my die cut that's already stamped. I'm gonna wheel this through here using my mini cut and emboss. 
And I think the Boho machine is still available. So if you're a fan of my videos, you know that I love this machine. I think it's fantastic. I think everyone should have it. And I better remember to pick that up when I'm done. All right, now I'm gonna die cut my bobber here. And now I have two perfectly stamped ones. So if I don't die cut it right the first time, I can do it again. All right. So I'm wheeling that through, but I got a perfect die cut. Wow, things are going well tonight. All right, I'm gonna set this out of the way and we'll finish up this front. And it's, I'm, we're almost done. This is how easy this card was, guys. Okay, so you'll see that that die cut just cut a little slit in here and then created these water ripples, which I think are super cool and my bobber will slip right in there. So I've got a piece of very vanilla twine from the Essentials Baker, Baker Twine Essential Pack. I'm just gonna cut a small piece, try not to jab the scissors into my hand. And I'm gonna take a small piece of this repositionable tape. You could do scotch tape. You can do just a piece of um, uh, stamp and seal. Doesn't really matter what you're using because you're just adhering this to the back. Okay. Put that off to the side. Let's take a stamp and dimensional and set that there and slide it right on in here. And I feel like you kind of got to do it at an angle because we want that line to go up there like that. So here's our line. We're going to take another piece of that tape and just tape it down. So you can tell I got a little bit oversized with my twine there. And that's ready to go onto the front. Okay. So you could put this down with stamp and seal or you can use some dimensionals. I'm gonna use some dimensionals here. And I only want them on one third of this because we've got the flap that's opening up. All right, throw these away and set those down here. I'm gonna line that up as close to the middle as I can here. Okay, there we go. All right, so there's our card. Just a super simple, fun fold, perfect for using up all of that gorgeous DSP that's on sale. Now what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna grab my stamp set and I'm gonna get some of the fish out here because I wanna put some of those fish swimming along the bottom. There we go. With the misty moonlight on our envelope because you don't want to be all plain Jane with your envelope. Uh-oh. Now let's see if I can fix these without really messing them up. I'm just going to leave them because I can just see I'll mess them up. I will take a pen. Yes, Meredith, perfect for quick and easy cards. Super simple, gorgeous use of your DSP that's on sale this week. Just one more week. I'll have to go through. I feel like I loaded up on all I needed at the beginning of the month, but you never know. All right, and when you add this to the envelope, it looks awesome, and you can definitely do that when you're getting that on sale. All right, just a real quick snip. All right, as I said, all the dimensions and directions will be on my blog tomorrow. Thanks so much for joining me. I'll be back here next week on Sunday night with maybe a little bit of more inspiration. We'll see what we've got going on. 
think we have some. Nope, they won't be out next week by then. All right. So here we go. Today's card. Thanks so much. Have a great week.